Hello, good morning. Welcome everybody. Um, at least on Twitch, because I, for the life of me, I cannot get YouTube to go live this morning. Don't know what's going on there. It's a bit of an ongoing problem. I'll, something I have to keep working on. Today we're going to take a look at Builders of Greece. This is from Playway, although it's developed by Blum Entertainment and Strategy Labs and published by Creative Forge Games. But basically, it is um, a Playway title. It's in early access. It released on 27th of February 2024 and it will cost you £15.49 at this moment in time. I'll read you the description. It says, immerse yourself in the beautifully recreated golden age of Hellenic city-states. Builders of Greece is a city management game that lets you display your strategic and economic mastery. Build your polis from scratch, make meaningful decisions, trade, fight and expand to become the ultimate ruler. And you can see straight away from the, uh, from the menu here, Greek uh, Greek architecture is just stunning it's something i don't know if i if there's anybody on the planet that doesn't appreciate a good old greek building like this i think it looks wonderful and obviously you've got the backdrop and everything as well this makes it superb and this is early access so we may experience some bugs and issues and stuff but we'll try and jump in so it's got an auto save every 10 minutes uh, borderless, for some reason we're 2560, 40, 40p, not full 4k, but I'm not going to change that. Um, display mode, LG HDR 4k, that's interesting, I've never seen that before. Uh, we'll leave everything as is, medium graphics, etc, etc, when I'm streaming. And um, I quite like the music, it's pretty good. So, uh, we... Got generic controls, WSAD, Q and E's rotate, and then we have panels, residential, roads, administrative, etc., all the way down to seven. Technology panels on T, demolition mode is on X, military mode is tab, and change building model is middle mouse button. Interesting. Let's continue, but I can't click on it because I've never played before. This is my first look. Uh, they sent me the key over to take a look at this, so. I'm going to jump in and do a scenario. We'll see how we go. New beginnings. A whole bunch of stuff coming soon, by the looks of things. New beginnings. When the war reached the polis, your fate was sealed. You were chosen, along with a few others, to break through the enemy fleet and build a new home for your people on a distant island. After a great naval battle that claimed many distinguished individuals, you gathered all the survivors on your ship and following the stars, set the course towards a better future. A future that you must build. Uh, we'll go more hints, because I've never played before. All roads lead to warehouses. Without efficient logistics, your polis will develop more slowly. Make sure you build enough warehouses and roads to facilitate the routes for the hardworking warehouse workers. Already visible on Ooh, the nice. And after such a long voyage, it is good to finally feel the solid land under your feet. Fertile soils, virgin forests teeming with game, rich deposits of raw materials, and an azure ocean so abundant with fish they almost swim into the nets themselves. It is not an island, but an untouched paradise bathed in the sun, our new home. Exhausted by war, people have entrusted their future to your hands. Now it is up to you to build and rule a great polis where everybody will want to live. However, you will not face this challenge alone. I will oversee everything and provide you with guidance. And if doubts arise, you can always seek help from the archives with scrolls written by the most illustrious kings. Right, so we got voice acting. It looks really good. Um, the camera zoom is epic. I mean, look at that. I'm looking at Blades of Grass. Quite a lot of games, especially RTS games, sort of let you zoom in that much and you're like, ah, oh, I want to get in closer. Let's have a look at this guy. See how close we can get, see what the animations are like. Oh, now I can't do it. 
How did I do it? That's so strange. Now it won't let me look at the blade of grass. I don't know if that's a bug and it should never have happened or whether it's... Still. That's quite nicely animated. I can't really see that closely because I can't get that close anymore. Strange. So I've got to build Agora. This is my mission. It's not that big a map. Um, but it looks lovely. Look at that. All beautiful blue seas. Bit of a shipwreck there. That's cool. All right, then. Let's go right ahead. Build an administrative building. The Agora. The Agora is the heart of the polis. However, they long for a bustling city center. So you should probably designate the place where the heart of your polis, the Agora, will be erected. Done that. Do you hear all these people? Buzz, conversations and laughter. Those of them. People are looking into the future with hope, anticipating a fresh start in this place. However, they do not wish to spend many nights in the Agora. We must build homes for the people and take care of their basic needs. The supplies we brought with us on board are dwindling quickly. Okay. One warehouse. Two warehouses. Three warehouses. So now I've got to build a cottage, it says. How do I build a cottage? Residential buildings. That's these. Build them right on the hilltop. They'll appreciate that, I am sure. So we're going to reach a population of 80 Thetes. And that's going to happen really quickly. We're going to build a clay pit and a ceramics workshop. So, wine for the people. So, we're going to build a noria, whatever the a noria is. A water wheel used for irrigating the fields in sun scorched areas. Only noria can provide cultivated fields with proper access to water. One of your production's buildings is not functioning. Reason lack of materials. What materials do you need? Clay. Slowly starting to happen. Okay, so they've got five units now. We should soon have a piece of ceramic. Balance, minus four. So I get, oh I see, I see. So I get 88 in taxes and we're currently paying out 92. So does that indicate then that we need more homes? A gathering place where citizens can have a drink and rest and return to work at full strength. So I think this is the perfect spot for it. Except we don't have enough stone. Once we have got a market, we should have loads and loads and loads of stuff to sell. Like, for example, we don't have much of anything, which is interesting. We're already tracking fish, tools. How much wine do we have? Two units of wine. We're really not producing very much. We are making some profit though. I suspect the more people we have, the more money we make. We have a surplus workforce of 80 people. Should have some military types fairly soon. May Ares help us. An enemy 
ship is on the horizon. And fishermen report that battle songs fly over the calm sea all the way to the shore. Danger looms on the horizon. For the worst, do not delay. Begin recruitment. Roger that. We've only got a surplus of 12 people, so hopefully that will be enough. But They're faster than we are. They're going to get to the pub, drink all the beer. Our men are going to be angry. Are they going for this? I think they might be going for that. Come on, lads. <laughs> Where have they gone? They've all disappeared. All ah, right, battle is on. Fight is on. Can't go any closer than this, but you can see there's a bit of a battle. Half of our men are nearly dead already. I think we've just about done it, though. Apparently, your ancestors were battle-hardened warriors. Nice. Our people faced adversaries stronger than themselves, but managed to repel the attack. The dust of battle still hung in the air when the enemy ship was already a speck on the distant horizon. We still have a long way to go to match the greatest. But our citizens continually dream of a growing prosperity and are eager to make the effort. They ask for the expansion of the Agora to consecrate the moment of great changes with a new jewel in our lands. Okay, so he wants me to upgrade the Agora to a level 2. Soldiers fought fiercely for their homes and families. Loud cheering could be heard in your palace when the last enemy fell to the ground. Oh, it's in level two. I see. But then why are there so many empty gaps? That just doesn't make any sense. Ah, that 42 is how many available workers we have. There you go. Everything's connected. I imagine we're going to have a port here. Refugees from distant lands have arrived in our polis. They say their homes have been burned. Same again. Remember, news spreads quickly. We'll accept them. So we may get attacked, but uh, I'm thinking if we're going to build a port, this is the place to have it. It's super wide open. Unlike over here. Actually, that's not too bad either, but it's a bit smaller. What the hell is this? I'm just wondering if we're going to keep developing to the point where we move on to another island. It's possible, isn't it? No guarantees of that. And there's a lot of extra stuff coming. Don't forget this is an early access title and we've already seen that there's a bunch of other gameplay elements that they're going to be bringing to the game. Um, I suspect that the reason why they've brought it out this early, when it's only like a third completed, is A, to get some... Oh, hello. A disease has broken out in your polis. Oh, no, that's bad. That's very bad. I don't have a medic. Oh dear, look. Oh dear. Well, that's unexpected. What's happened here? This one's in ruins. Can't click on it. Well, that's actually quite a cool feature. Buy up to 20. Don't anything over 70. It hasn't done it right, that one. So everything is at zero. Oh, that one again. I think that one's wrong. So that's costing us a fortune. That's back to front. 
Oh, I get it. Buy up to 10. Sell a but I was doing it back front. So yeah, uh, it's a good game. Um, I mean, it's... I would say it's probably only 30% completed. It's an early access game, so you can expect three times the amount of content that's here, I would say. Um, and I've already spent two hours on it, and I've barely scratched the surface. So if we look at the tech tree, if I can... Click. No, that's not the tech tree here. Where's the tech tree? What does it look like? That one? If we look at the tech tree, I mean... I've barely scratched the surface there. We haven't even got out of the uh, whatever age this is. Um, so loads more stuff potentially coming. Um, I would definitely like to see more icons and bits and bobs and things. The problem is, you know, modern day RTS games, um, they've really pushed the boat out in terms of um, graphics and stuff like that. And a lot of the younger players today, well, for whatever reason, prioritise graphics over gameplay. I'm not one of those people. I'm old school. You know, the games we used to play looked terrible. Um, we had 500 then for a minute. Uh, games used to look terrible, but the gameplay element was fantastic, and, and that's what I've always appreciated and desired and respected. But um, I think it's good. I think it's a nice little game. It's definitely playable. It's hardly any bugs, if any. Well, no, maybe a few little bugs that we found. But on the most part, it seems to work. It seems to work very well. No performance issues that I can talk of. And said that, we sort of fluctuate between 60 and 40 FPS. But I am playing in 4K. And I'm recording at the same time. So, uh, too bad, I suppose. And um, loads more content to come. £15 depends... 100% depends on how much you value £15. What do you expect for £15? Um, like I say, I think in its current state, £15 is maybe too much. And I've always been one to suggest or recommend that if you're going to release a game in early access, you should uh, release it for less. Um, and say thank you to the people who invest in the game early on by allowing them to buy it cheaper. So, you know, once the game has got three times as much content, then maybe £15 is a fair price. So now, maybe release it for £7 or £10 or something like that. I think if this was £10, I don't think anyone would complain. For 10 quid, even with just the content that I've been playing with today, I think that's all right. And then there are people who can't get past the, uh, well, the little the little body lack of logic. Because a lot of these people are just milling about, making it look busy, but not actually doing anything. For some people, that's you know you can't they can't see past that, and they can't see past the graphics. I think it looks all right. I think it's nice. It's um, old school style RTS in a good way, and I imagine. As you sort of progress on further, you're going to see a lot more military action, so it's going to get harder as well. But it's, um, you know, if you're looking for a game to chill out and play and relax and just enjoy a bit of RTS, a bit of simple RTS, then uh, this is a great game for that. So uh, on that premise, giving it a thumbs up. I think it's a good game and I've enjoyed playing it. And hopefully, if you've uh, watched the stream, you've... Uh, enjoyed our little playthrough as well thank you for watching guys i'll see you in the next one till then take care goodbye for now America.